I'm John Stansfield from Troop 121, Columbia, Missouri. We're at the World Chess Hall of Fame and the Chess Club Scholastic Center of St. Louis. Today's event we have both the Great Rivers Council and the Greater St. Louis Area Council. Is, uh, they're playing a big game of chess uh, with each other with, with a live chess board. Chess Merit Badge is being launched today uh, nationally and we're real excited to have it happen here in the state of Missouri where the first 20 scouts uh, who have had an opportunity to go through the requirements will be earning that or have earned the badge and will receive the badge today in part of the ceremonies. Uh, so it's a great way to, to celebrate scouting, to recognize some boys for learning a new skill, and to, to welcome the World Chess Hall of Fame to St. Louis. Our astronaut from NASA, Greg Chamatoff, we are going to first, before you get to hear him speak, he went to outer space on shuttle number 134 in April, and he played a game against Earth. He was white, and Earth was black. They played 22 moves, and at the end of the game, he landed, and they had to vote on who won. Well, Earth said they won. I wasn't so sure, so Jennifer Shahadi, who's a former U.S. women's champion, and a commentary for tonight, along with Yasser Sarafarn, a four-time U.S. chess champion, will be finishing the game. So we'll do the first 22 moves, and then they will come up with a the real ending, not the voted ending. So I even I don't know how it's going to go. The teams are two councils. White is Great Rivers Council, which I'm affiliated with, 33 counties in mid-Missouri. Black is, is Greater, Greater St. Louis Area Council. So may the games begin. The boys in my troop were among the first in the nation to earn the Chess Merit Badge. Uh, their Merit Badge counselor was Jean Sinkfeld, and she did a wonderful job. When they earned it, they have to uh, know the etiquette of chess. For example, you shake your partner's hand before and after the game. They have to know chess notation. G takes F5. Uh-oh, that's the second problem we just lost. Mm. You better have a follow-up. Queen to C3. It teaches you critical thinking how to problem solve when you're in a difficult position, how to get out of it and that kind of sort of thing. Also teaches you how to put yourself in a better position so you can come out on top instead of having to battle your way up all the time. So it's just an interesting way, different ways to think about things, different strategies and thought processes. Uh, they have to play three games uh, that they notate and then at the end they go over that with their merit badge counselor and try to determine what went right and what went wrong. They do an after action review of, the, of a chess game. Chess, chess is with your mind, your brain power, and it actually takes talent and skill and hard study. Well, today they're kind of learning what the fundamentals of chess is all about. Um, you know, the, the strategic thinking, the, it's more than just the game of chess. They're learning how to think for themselves, how to, to think ahead, to, to, um, to work together. Um, just, a, just a great day of some camaraderie and, and some fun here with scouting. My name is Greg Shamatov, and uh, I just got back from uh, the, the Space Shuttle Mission STS-134. I was in Scouts uh, as far as, as long as I can remember. Uh, so I was in Cub Scouts as a kid. I grew up in Montreal, Canada, and uh, so I was a Cub Scout there, and uh, then moved to California eventually and joined Scouts there and was in Scouts sort of all the way. So, uh, but it took me right till the end to finish my Eagle. <laughs> it was like the last thing I did, probably like a month before I turned 18. So it's, it's an honor to be here and to be part of this. What I experienced was just having a lot of fun being in a, like a living chess and seeing a video of someone who's actually been in space and that was just really that was just really amazing to see. While the Boy Scouts head does have a strong outdoor program, we also have a strong academics program. And of course, chess fits nicely into that. Well, you know, for kids who were playing chess, I would tell them to join Scouts. And for kids who were in Scouts, I would tell them to learn chess. Uh, for, for everybody, you know, I'd encourage them to do both these things, obviously. 
you know, and the thing is, there's a lot they have in common. I mean, these, these things, these things, you know, help kids develop skills. You know, I think people have to set their own standards and uh, and, and and go for it and believe that things can really happen. I mean, you know, I didn't know that I was going to get to fly in space when I was a kid, but I believed it somehow. And uh, you know, I think believing in yourself and and being persistent and setting your own standards is what you really have to do to, to be successful. So this is what I would tell them. It's, it's such a great thing for scouting. You know, we just celebrated 100 years. Uh, we just we're now we're starting our second hundred years of scouting, and what a great way to, to kick it all off right here in downtown St. Louis. The 20 scouts that earned the badge will receive their badges from Greg Kamatoff. He's an Eagle Scout and an astronaut with NASA. Uh, took a chessboard up up to space and actually played the game up there, and he's here with us today to celebrate this great event. As soon as I heard that I was going to be awarded by an astronaut, I'm the first in the nation, my mouth flew open. Okay, you know, in terms of uh, you know being successful in life and trying to accomplish your dreams, you know, I think. I think it's really important uh, for people to do their best, you know, to, to know, to, to find something they're passionate about and then to work re really hard at it. What's, what's the next move? What is, what's the next move I make in life? What's the next move I make in a chess game?